Hey, Cassie here. I just wanted to share an awesome hack that I learned a few weeks ago. It was at a Galentine workshop for Valentine's Day. Some girlfriends and I went to the dime store in Denton and went to a workshop on how to paint Valentine cards. This was led by Taylor and I've got her information down below for you. And during this, she was showing us how to take some pre-printed images that she had printed for us and transfer them over to the watercolor paper that we we're going to be painting on. Um, to me, this was mind blowing. It is so simple and so easy, but for me, I was just like, wow. This is perfect for smaller scale projects. So like this one I'm gonna show you today, my grandmother just turned 85 in January, so she asked if I would paint her a painting, and I was very happy and honored that um, she would ask me to do that, so I was happy to oblige. Um, this is the sketch that I did. I actually did a time-lapse video of this the other day, and this is what I'm wanting to paint. However, I need to take it from my sketchbook and transfer it over to what I'm going to be painting on. So instead of transferring it over to paper though, I'm going to be transferring it over onto a wood panel, which I have not done this before onto wood, um, but I'm going to attempt it and see if it will work. It definitely works on paper. So this is great for smaller scale projects. When you sketch something out, you're like, oh, I love that, and you don't want to have to re sketch it onto the surface you're going to be working on. Um, on larger scale projects you would probably need a projector or something. Large scale projects I usually just freehand because I'll add lib as I go and change things up. But for this I want this to stay just as it is so I'm going to attempt to use her trick that she taught us at the workshop to transfer it over to my wood panel. Um, definitely check out Taylor. I put, like I said earlier, I put her information down below for you to check her out. She is an awesome, awesome illustrator, very talented. And then also check out the Dime Store. They only showcase and sell items that are made by local creatives, which I think is phenomenal to support local arts. Um, they also hold various workshops throughout the year. So if you're not into painting, if you're into sewing, they have that available. Um, they also had flower arrangements recently, um, all kinds of different workshops. So it's a great way just to have fun with your friends and hang out, so check them out. Um, with that, I am going to zip it and I'm going to begin the tutorial on how to transfer your sketches over to what you're going to actually be painting on. tutorial on how to transfer an image over to another surface. So now my wood panel is all set and ready to paint on. One thing that I learned in this process, and it's not a bad thing, is when you're transferring from paper to paper, it works great to use pencil um, to trace over your image to transfer the graphite on the back onto the surface that you're going to be working on. Um, when transferring our boot to the wood panel, I ended up using pen because when I originally started using the pencil, it was super duper light 
the transfer was, so it was really hard to see it. So I used a pen, I added an extra layer of the graphite on the back, and then I used a pen to be able to apply more pressure to transfer it over to my new work surface on the wood. Uh, so just make note of that. Now it's all ready. Uh, just make sure you make note that when you're doing projects like this, it's not gonna end up perfect. And that's okay, that's the beauty of art. So if you miss a line or if it's off just a little bit, it's okay because you've got your original um, sketch that you did that you can reference when you're working um, to see if there's anything that you missed or there might be something that you even transfer and you're like, eh, I don't really like that and you can just change it, which is the beauty of it. So um, if you guys have any questions at all about this or anything along these lines, please feel free to comment below. I would love to engage with you and answer any questions that you have. Also, I'm going to open it up. If you have any tips or tricks that you guys really enjoy that have been super helpful, please share because I would love to learn. So please share. I'm always figuring things out along the way, sometimes the hard way after trial and error. So if there are things that you guys have come across that have really been helpful, please do share. Um, check, out, check, check, out, check out Taylor on her page and check out her illustrations and the products that she has upcoming workshops. She's a great teacher. Her background is education, so she's able to apply her skills to helping other artists to grow or new people that are learning to grow. So check her out. Um, also check out the Dime Store. That's where I got this awesome nifty t-shirt from. They've got all kinds of products that are made by local creatives. Um, I mentioned that earlier. They have plant puzzles. I got a plant puzzle the other day also when I got this. But they also have mugs made by local creatives, hair accessories, greeting cards, all kinds of stuff. So check them out if you're looking for a gift, you can shop online, which makes it super convenient, especially if you're out of state or live a distance. Um, they make it very convenient. So check them out. Thank you so much for visiting. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, please comment below if you have any questions and I'll get to them as soon as possible. Thanks guys.